Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode here of our Haunt Updates. Today we got some really big news coming out from HHN Hollywood. Uh, mm. Tony, do you want to you want to go in here uh, and, and share what we've uh, learned today? And uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, let you know what we've learned, and then you know give us a, a brief commentary on on each announcement. Yeah. So today we got the Terra Tram theming announced. Uh, which will go through everything what it is. We got three new maze announcements today. We got three new scare zone announcements and a brand new show coming. Well, it's a returning show, but a brand new version of said show coming to Halloween Horror Nights, uh, which will be a lot of fun. So let's take it all the way back to one of, I could say, Sammy, one of Sammy and I's favorite thing, which is the Terror Tram. Okay, okay, I'm hurrying, Kyle. I'll be there as soon as I can. Bye. Jordan Peele's No and Us, only at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, we knew this was coming back. We knew it was going to be back at its original place again. Um, we just didn't know what the theming was. For for months and months, there was rumors as it was going to be Hollywood Harry. It was just going to be Nope. How about combine the two? Yeah, let's throw a curveball. Let's throw a curveball there. Hollywood Harry is hosting the Terror Tram. However, you are going to be thrown in the twisted mind of Jordan Pills, us, and most recently released this past summer, Jordan Pills, Nope. With that being said, you are actually going to get to walk the actual sets used in the film, Jupiter's Claim. Um, now, this is going to be interesting because there's going to be a lot to it, and we're going to get to that in a bit. However, let's give the brief uh, synopsis as to uh, what this is going to uh, bring to life. The Terror Tram is unique to Universal Studios Hollywood, inviting guests to explore by foot parts. Uh, I'm sorry. Inviting guests to explore by foot parts of the famous movie studio backlot, home to some of the most notorious movie sets. Once guests disembark the tram, the terror is unleashed. This year, the villainous Hollywood Harry unravels Hollywood Harry's Halloween, a nightmarish spectacle with a demented cast of characters that winds past the iconic Psycho House, then through Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds set. As guests make their way through the choreographed massacre at the jupiter's claim set from nope they will encounter the th the tethered from us in a frightening finale of an epic proportions after the success of 2019's us house this experience will feature all new choreography by conceptual uh conceptual artist and choreographer madeline holander the, so i mean it's sounding pretty good so it's it so now it's actually kind of you know thinking a little bit about more to it uh i thought it was going to be like hollywood harry was hosting it and us was going to be like the first portion and nope the last portion um however it's looking like hollywood harry is going to have a full-on original terror tram thing from where you get left off all the way to the end of the world of worlds crash set only for you guys to cross the street and kind of switch realities from the world of hollywood harry to the world of jordan pill um, which is going to take place, of course, all in the Jupiter's Claim set. So it kind of feels like to me that they're mashing the two movies together. So it would really be cool um, if, you know, you're hearing the alien sound effects and all that, and then the tethered are the ones actually running away. So, I mean, that would be interesting. Yeah, I, I definitely uh, uh, thankful for you sharing what some more backstory and what it was, because when I saw the initial announcement, I was a little confused. I was like, Hollywood Harry and Jordan Pill. It's us and nope i was like how is that gonna work um my my initial thought was that it was going to be that you were gonna get off the tram and like when you're going through the bates motel that would be hollywood harry and then once you get past the bates motel and get into the world the world sets that's when it would transition into us and and then eventually into nope and i thought maybe we were just gonna drive through nope as we exit but the fact that we'll be able to walk through it is super cool um 
I'm excited to see it. Hopefully, we'll get those little alien creatures from Nope um, yes. that uh, that we're seeing in the movie when he's in the stables. Um, so hopefully, we'll get to see those. Um, and then, obviously, I'm a huge fan of Us, so maybe we'll get some music from Us playing. Um, and uh, I don't know. It's it's a it's as you've read the the like the synopsis of it. I definitely get more excited to walk through it. As it is, like we, like you said, we both really enjoy the terror trim. Just being able to walk around the, the sets in general is really cool. Uh, but then you add in the scary, spooky vibes, and you know it goes from uh, eight out of ten to probably ten out of ten. So, yeah. real excited to see how this turns out, and uh, looking forward to to walking through that. Yeah, and I think what's cool too is it's actually going to be your first time ever seeing Jupiter's Claim in person. Um, so the fact that your first time is you get to actually walk through it, I mean, that kind of makes me jealous because I wish that was my first time was walking through Jupiter's Claim. But nonetheless, I think it's cool that they're going to let a lot of fans come see these sets up close and personal to actually walk through them to see where the actual like actors interacted with things and whatnot to see a lot of like iconic Easter eggs that tie into the film. Um, so definitely see Nope if you guys haven't seen yet seen it yet. This is not a sponsor. We just both agree that that is a very good, another great Jordan Peele film. So definitely go check that out before you go through this experience so you understand what you're walking through. Uh, obviously, if you haven't seen Us, go check out Us. And, um, I mean, Hollywood Harry has been there the last – he's been there for uh, – he's been there twice now. This will be his third time. So I'm excited. Terror Tram is going to be fun. Let's move on to what was announced maze-wise today because there was uh, three new announcements, one IP – two originals one of the originals i know sammy's going to love which we're going to kick off with actually well you're gonna spoiler i'm gonna i like both okay okay i mean i know this one has been on kind of your hype list for a long time so i'm very much looking forward to seeing your reactions to this one but correct i'll start correct. it off with this to kind of uh to show Sham- sammy's excitement uh Lyarona, the weeping woman returning to halloween horror nights first time since 2012 uh and the synopsis goes as follows it features the legend of Lyarona who comes to life to terrorize the living as she mourns the children she murdered. I mean, just hearing that, Sammy, are you ready to go through this? Yeah, I've been ready to go through this. Since uh, we've been seeing the facade coming up, um, I, I've been real excited, um, especially as it's become more clear that it is Lyarona. I was, I've been very excited about that. I thought that we were going to get Lyarona announcement back at... Uh, Midsummer Scream, but obviously we had to wait another couple weeks here until this announcement, uh, which is fine. Um, either way, uh, I you know I I've watched the like a walkthrough with Murdy where he like explains a lot of the things that were happening back in the 2012 version. Um, so I'll be looking for those Easter eggs since I imagine it'll be pretty similar to what happened back in 2011 and 2012 with some slight improvements. Um, and and I I definitely I know that we're gonna touch on this a little bit later, but the way that Historically, the the uh, what would that what's would that area be called? Like the dry uh, the Parisian courtyard. Parisian courtyard. The way that the Parisian courtyard has been, um, the mazes there have been great uh, over the last two seasons that I've gone, um, and they always lead out into a scare zone. Which, with when we touch in the scare zone, I'll, I'll, I'll dive a little bit deeper. But the fact that we're gonna get to walk through Lyron and then that's gonna tie a little bit more into the scare zone, pretty sick. And then I I was watching the Haunt Line today. Uh, he had just released a video. Um, always, always, always gold, kiss, man. Always, always chef's. Kiss. Kiss. Yeah, um, and because he had gotten, he gone to the park and he had seen some of the the props coming out for the scare zones. Um, and then what we're getting as we're exiting the uh, the Parisian courtyard looks fantastic. Beautiful. We'll touch on that a little bit later. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I mean. You know, for me, Lyrona was the one of the first uh, mazes I ever got to go through at Halloween Horror Nights. So this is actually like a, it's kind of you know, it kind of comes full circle. Like you know, uh, I think this will be my eleventh year for Haunt, and uh, actually twelfth year, um, maybe thirteenth. I don't even remember anymore. Anyway, Time. but Time. The, the point of the story is, I when I started going to Horror Nights, this was one of the first mazes I ever got to go through at Horror Nights. And you know, now that we're on our fifth anniversary for Nights of Horror, this is kind of you know coming full circle of me actually finally getting to cover this maze a maze that i've talked about on nights of Horror origins many times so i'm excited to go back through it it's in a new location so I'm, I'm i'm excited to see how they utilize all that space right there like you said every maze that's been there in the past uh, couple of years since i've going and since when you started going it's just been nothing but a great times uh, bride of frankenstein lives was last year and that was probably my favorite maze of 2021 hands down um so I'm excited to see how they utilize the space this year, what maybe new tweaks they add to it, or if, if it's the same old original one, it's going to be good to see Old Faithful again, honestly, to be honest. So it'll be new for you, though, because you've never seen it in person. 
Yeah, yeah. Either way, like they could give me 2012 shot for shot, and I would be like, oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, like, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, and so, then okay. want to go? We'll go to what makes you excited. I was gonna say that for last, but okay, we want to do no, second. We'll, we'll do it second. Okay, so one, so one each that makes us both excited, and then the final one is something that we're both excited for. Uh, and I'm wearing the t-shirt. I wore this t-shirt. I literally came home and found this t-shirt just for this video. Uh, shout out Monster Posse. Uh, that's their t-shirt, but but you missed the past though. because you keep looking at Lindsay. Right. Look at that. Pull me over, man. Oh, oh now you want to get with out. pleasure. Oh my gosh! Look, I will tell you this: ain't no girl gonna get me off my game. Oh, right. <laughs> that's fact. You know, you always want to stop. I mean, we should just leave you at this point. <laughs> you clowns are not leaving me. All right. Oh, okay. Yo, bro. Give me soda. I want for Lindsay too. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this city is a serious. Oh, I gotta turn it around. That's what you're gonna do. Right. Do that. Dude. What? Is that a clown? I think so. Look <laughs> <laughs> at his hand. Look at his hand. Yo, 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 yo! Take my money so I can get a soda, please. Brock! Hey! Brock! 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 Could you come get me? The killer clowns from outer space have landed only at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. Killer clowns from outer space returning. Uh, last time we saw killer clowns from outer space at Halloween Horror Nights was in 2019. Easily my favorite maze that season. And so it's returning in the new location. We've been speculating this for months. We've been seeing the tent. And they finally announced it. Killer Clowns is returning to Halloween Horror Nights. And I am super stoked for that. Um, and what can be said about this? You have the clowns coming back. You got some of the most iconic scenes in a new location. So it might be able to expand and add more scenes that we didn't get to see last time. Um, so uh, I don't know if we, even if we got the same exact thing, I would still be happy. That's probably the major going to find me most nights anyway. So um, John Masari, let's go through it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. It's it's, they can give you a shot for shot of 2019. Cause I think 2019, it was a good maze. I look forward to going through it with you. Um, hopefully once, maybe we'll, we'll sneak in a second one on there. Um, I know that we're going to go through it. You're going to hear us if you, if we're vlogging, well, we will be vlogging, but, uh, you'll hear another door cause I'm yes. sure that's going to happen. Um, and it's going to be, it's a the, genuinely, that was probably one of my top three mazes of 2019, just because it was fun. Like I didn't really get scared in it, uh, but it was just a fun walk through, um, just being able to, to, to see that movie. Uh, come to life uh, I know that and, and the fact that Tony has such a deep undying love for it makes me it makes it more fun for me because he's like a little kid going through a candy shop um, every time he uh, every time he gets to go through it so he has a good time I have a good time um, I'm really excited to see how we're gonna get there to yes. there because uh, it's a, a very weird area behind uh, the uh, soundstage uh, 29 I believe it's yes um, um, when we do our game plan video, I kind of have a theory. I'm not going to say this is going to be the exact way, but I'll explain where I think you'll enter from that area. So we'll talk about it on the game plan for sure. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I, well, yeah, because it's kind of weird because the way that Universal Monsters um, is going in the mummy queue, it's flipped from where it is normally. Um, right. So I'm uh, my early speculation is the way that we would have been going towards like toxic t t t t tunnel back oh, in 2019 yeah um but it'll be kind of like cut a left there yeah. um and then um like on the closer side to the like that'll be on like the closer side of the transformer side and then yeah. on the other side to the mummies where you'll be exiting for universal monsters yes. so 100 percent, i agree they, they might that's the easiest way to split it down 
Um, and the the last original, another original maze, um, I don't know 100% where this is going. It's speculated to be in the Walking Dead location, but it is a confirmed maze. This is one that was teased at Midsummer Scream, and Sammy and I were very hyped. It's a 20 themed maze the 20s are back because obviously 2020 and all, and so forth um universal horror hotel and the synopsis goes as follows lives up to its reputation as the original owner who was executed years ago for his uh dastardly deeds continues to haunt this place today and guests must escape his vengeful spirit or risk becoming a permanent resident that sounds pretty cool yeah, yeah. This one I was super hyped for um, as we saw it at Midsummer Scream. I think both Tony and I really love that uh, Hollywood has been exploring more into the original concepts. You know, with this season, we're getting Lyrona, we're getting Scarecrow, uh, we're getting the Universal Hell. What is it? Universal Hell Hotel. Hotel, Hell. Oh, Hotel, Hotel, Hotel Hell. I'm sorry. Poor Hotel. Um, and then you can throw Universal Monsters Collide because it's kind of a mix between an IP and original. It's so I'm a good half and half, honestly. Yeah, so I'm really liking that they're taking more time to go in and dive into these originals because um, I definitely think the creative team at Universal are are really are really creative. Yeah. Um, and so I think this is a really cool original concept. Not saying that IPs don't have a place at the event. I definitely think, you know, Killer Clowns. They're Clown taking an Orlando approach this year with the event. Yeah, fair. yeah, like Killer Clowns from Outer Space, great IP. Yeah. Um, the, the weekend even is, can be in that little IP original since it's yeah, it's, it's the not, music of the the weekend, but the original, it, it all everything is original concepts. Yeah, yeah. So I'm liking that they're they're doing this because a um, it, it allows the creative team to be more creative in my opinion, and and b um, it allows for um, no bro cool introduction to it because like if you if you like like the Black Phone. Like we've seen the black phone, um, and because we've seen the black phone, we can kind of know what we're expecting as we're walking in. Right. Not say, not taken away from the black phone, but the fact that you're going into an original um, is really cool because you get to just like just see the creativity uh, and see a new fresh uh, take on uh, on horror. Right. Horror in the twenties, their own original stories. I'm very much looking forward to it. We got a little preview of it at Midsummer Screen. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out of the uh, Halloween Horror Nights pound to kind of give a little preview of what you might be seeing in that maze. Um, they were talking about past murders that happened in the hotel and whatnot. It's a big, it sounds like a fun time, um, and I'm excited to see where this is going to be, for one, and two, how it's going to look aesthetically, especially especially it being from the like, 20s and stuff. I'm assuming we're going to go into current time. Maybe the hotel's a little bit more run down. I mean, I'm super stoked for this. Now, yeah. Wait, could I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put one more final comment on ahead. that. Uh, yeah, so I, I agree. I'm excited to see what they do because uh, of the brief glimpse we got at, at Midsummer Scream. And also, it's kind of giving me a little bit of a Queen Mary vibe um, and some of the, the things that they were doing over there um, in terms of like time time period pieces. Um, so I'm excited to see like how this actually plays out. But continuing on. Yeah. Now, in the beginning of the video, I did mention there was three scare zones. I was wrong about that. There this year is actually four scare zones and we're going to save that very special one for last because it is something that i've been wanting and, and a lot of fans have been wanting to come to the event and this year they're finally doing it and i'm so stoked for that but let's start with the original <laughs> scare zones because technically that last scare zone would be an ip so let's start with the original scare zones that they're doing which sound phenomenal i'm always excited we've been seeing footage pictures of a lot of the setup going around in the park as we speak um so as you go into the park now as a guest during daytime operations you can actually see a lot of these stuff placed around the park for the scare zones starting with el pueblo del terror yeah it, it's going to be an extension of La Llorona, the Weeping Woman, as the horror continues once guests exit the haunted house and discover there is no escaping the frightening legend along with other supernatural creatures from Latin America's most frightening myths. I mean... The, big dubs. Big, big dubs. dubs. I mean, anybody who is... Um, like me and Sammy of the Mexican heritage, um, you know that growing up and hearing these stories traumatized all of us. And to see it brought to life is a whole new fear for anyone who grew up listening to those stories. So I'm super stoked for this to see, especially I'm a huge fan of the Chupacabra. And I, that's been confirmed that's going to be there. So I'm excited to see how they pull that off. I'm excited what other urban legends they bring to life. Like, this is going to be dope. Yeah, I agree. It's gonna. Pro it's probably will be my 
most anticipated scare zone and probably will ultimately be my favorite scare zone that they do. Um, because like, it's super cool. Like I've definitely enjoyed what they have been doing in the Parisian courtyard. Granted, this is only my third year going to Horror Nights, uh, but the previous two years with the, uh, the extension of, uh, Holidays in Hell, um, and then the extension last year of the Brides of Frankenstein using, right. uh, uh, the different, uh, like silver screen, uh, people. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see how this one actually plays out. Like the only thing I wish, and, I, and I'll say this every time, is I wish we could spend more time in that, like in the scare zones outside of the Parisian courtyard. Yeah. Um, but because you're exiting the maze, you kind of just have to go through it. You can't go back into it. Um, to you know, spend five ten minutes to really actually, enjoy like, the craft. Uh, if I can interfere real quick, you might be able to go back and forth through it because it's looking like uh, from when I did my last construction, I could be completely wrong. But when I did my last construction update, the exit looks like it's going to spit you out right in front of Despicable Me. So you might be able to go back and forth through it many times. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I was seeing that too. On I, I was watching the Haunt Lines update today, and it looks like um the exit for Lyarona is a little bit further in. Um than where it has been previously right um so yeah maybe there, there is a chance that you'll be able to to take your time walk through it and maybe go back again to get some more taste of what's going on right yeah 100 percent. i'm looking forward to it like i said growing up these stories traumatized us as kids they still have a fear a special fear in our bodies hearing the names and hearing the stories and, and to see them brought especially brought to life in movies now an actual uh, Halloween event. This is going to be uh, freaking dope. I, I can't wait to see what they make the creatures look like. I'm excited. Let's talk about our newest, uh, another new scare zone that they're doing in the New York Street area, which is Sideshow Slaughterhouse. And it turns New York Street into a battle zone as the performers and workers from a seedy carnival sideshow are on a murderous rampage. That should be fun. I mean, anything circus related, anything like like the sideshow related and stuff. I always, I mean, look at Mesmer, for example. I mean, Mesmer yeah. is a phenomenal maze. Carnival is a great scare zone. So anything in that nature of, of, of sideshows and stuff, I am super stoked for it. And I cannot wait to see what we see as far as the different talents, the different looks. You know, I'm excited to see this. And, and New York Street is always good. I'm also seeing they're bringing back the Flame Tower. So that's a good sign. I, we, I mean, I've always been a fan of the Flame Tower. So I'm excited to see those return. Yeah, I agree. Um, the the props that are popping up already for this area look super cool, um, and, and it's definitely going to be a fun walkthrough and something we, we're going to have to spend a little time in just to to really grasp the essence of it because it, it is a, a really cool concept of you know different like sideshow freaks, right? Quote unquote, um, uh, you know, raining tear on on people. So I, I'm excited to see what kind of creatures and monsters we'll see. Um, cause I definitely don't think it's just going to be like different sideshow acts. I definitely think they're going to be a little morphed and a little bit more intimidating. So I'm right. excited to see what that looks like. Yeah. And our last, uh, scare zone, our original scare zone that is, um, that is taking two big fears at haunts, clowns and chainsaws, and they're mashing them together with this brand new scare zone for the 2022 Halloween Horror Night season. Clown Saws features a demonic troop of clowns who band together to terrorize guests with chainsaws as they enter the park. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see what they look like, what they make the clowns look like. Chainsaw chase out. It's always great to, to see that, you know, with all the chainsaw people that come in at the end of the night and, and do their chainsaw chase out. That's always fun to see. But Clown Saws is going to be dope. I mean, I, I can see myself, especially with the frequent fear pass. I got nights where I could just sit there and see what they do with guests. I mean, it's really kind of a difficult zone to manage. Your biggest action is going to be obviously in the very beginning when they, everyone comes in and the traffic that goes in and out of the Waterworld queue. But they make it work every single year, and it's cool to just sit around and, and, and see what's up with, the, with these amazing, talented actors every year. So uh, I'm excited for this one. Yeah, this one is, is super exciting. As, I, I'm super excited for this one as well. I always enjoy watching the people with chainsaws because um, I think that's something that makes Universal unique. Um, having the different chainsaw actors, um, and uh, they're they're always a good time. They're always getting in people and, and chasing people, so it's always fun to watch. And, and I kind of like how it's tying into the the sideshow scare zone um, because it's like previously like the scare zones kind of merged together at points, um, which is fine. Um, but so like I like how they can kind of are like somewhat in the same identity right. as one another because um, clowns and circuses. Obviously, these clowns are going to probably be a little bit more scary than the clowns you're seeing at a circus. 
um, or as a sideshow, but uh, it's a, I think it's going to be super sick. Um, and, and one more thing before we get to the the, the, the thing, the other thing that we, I mean, we're really excited for all these scare zones thus far. Is I was reading today, I believe it was on John Murdy's uh, Twitter that over where like that bathroom is by the the pet actors, right. There's going to be scare actors there now. That's cool. Because they started putting up some props there, and yeah. someone had tweeted at him, like, hey, what's going on over here? He's like, um, we're going to have a couple actors over there. So uh, that area has never really had anything that I, I mean, listen, <laughs> in dude, recent if, years. If anyone knows old school knots from back in the day, they used to do the same exact thing. So I'm glad that Horror Nights is bringing that aesthetic back where literally nowhere is safe. Even if you have to use the restroom, you got to get by monsters to get into that restroom. And then you have to face them back to go out. So that's a lot of fun to me. You might not make it to the restroom, especially if they go number two, but you know, who knows? Yeah, I, I thought that was so hilarious. I was because like the when they when they made the announcement today, none of that seemed to tie in. But it looks right. like a little haunted forest area over there, and they're like, oh yeah, we're doing that because there's a restroom right there, basically, and people go to it all the yeah. time. So it's kind of so like, like almost. I wonder if it's going to tie into the the. Uh, mm-hmm. um, the Liarona scare zone, or if it's going to be like it's just his own little thing. I don't know, but I, I, he definitely said there would be actors there, so I thought that was so funny. I would love it, especially because it's forest themed. I would love it if they did like ghillie suits and shit. You wouldn't even see them oh. in black. That'd be great. It's an easy scare yeah. too, and it's and it's effective. Yeah, I really hope that I forget. Well, actually, no, I'm kind of conflicted. Like, I really hope I don't forget because, like, I I use the restroom way too much. And so, like, if I get scared, what if I pee myself? That'll be real keep, awkward. I'm just going to low-key. You won't even know it. I'm just going to keep the camera on you. Yeah, so if I'm going to – or, like, if, cause like, if we're going in a group, sometimes, you know, I'm going to have to – like, a couple people have to use the restroom and you have to wait. And just sitting there, be a great time. Oh, uh, but speaking of, a, speaking of a great time, let's get to the last one. Yes, that, something, something at Halloween Horror Nights that myself, many fans have very much – made their voices clear about something that we've all been waiting for especially now since last year they opened up Hogsmeade for Halloween Horror Nights I mean if that wasn't a dead giveaway what I'm about to say I mean I don't know what is but Death Eaters are finally coming to Halloween Horror Nights 2022 if you guys don't know what I'm talking about Harry Potter uh, is uh, the villains in Harry Potter that work for Voldemort are called death eaters uh they wear these like really cool masks they dress in all black and they can kind of like turn into smoke and fly around and stuff um but the reason why i brought that up is because in japan and in orlando in the past they have done death eaters for their scare zone and now hollywood is finally given the okay to include death eaters this is going to make going through there so much more fun. I mean, it was already cool going through there at night to see all the lights and everything, all the aesthetics. But to have Death Eaters just roaming around as you're trying to get to Halloween and Scarecrow, I mean, that's going to be so much fun. As a Harry Potter fan, that's going to be so much fun. I actually just bought Sirius Black's wand, so, I mean, wands at the ready, am I right? Yeah, wands always have to be at the ready. Um I <laughs> random fact about me is I really enjoyed the Death Eaters. I was kind of rooting for them for the longest time oh, as yeah. a child. Um, and growing up, I thought, you know what? Maybe if I do get a tattoo, I'm going to get the Death Eater symbol on my arm. But I'm definitely afraid of needles, so that will never happen. But um, there was definitely a brief time in my life where I was like, I'll probably get a Death Eaters tattoo when I'm allowed to, just because it was super cool. Um, and the fact that, that, once again, this is making more areas in the park where it's not safe. Um, where there is going to be scare actors to to catch you off guard makes it for a fun time and also helps tie in um, uh, Hogsmeade to uh, the event because last year when it was open we were real excited that it was opened um, and you actually have to you obviously have to go through it to get to Scarecrow and Halloween right um, but when you were going through there it kind of felt like you were disconnected from the event because there wasn't a lot going on there outside of like you said the aesthetics and the lights Mm -hmm. um so it's this is definitely going to make it a a thing that you must do every night to go through to see the death eaters um and you know i'm excited to see what they're allowed to do um and how they and how they scare because is it just gonna i i I, i'm real curious on what that's going to look like i have a pretty good idea there's a lot of dark spaces there so they can blend in and just pop out out of nowhere yeah they're gonna hit you with a avana cadaver (gasps) so yeah uh, yeah, that's that's cool, man. I'm super stoked for that. When I heard that news today, that really was like, dude, 
this is easily giving me those 2016 vibes. I've been saying that a lot, but as everything got announced, I was like, we're going to have a really solid year this year. Like, this is one of the best lineups since 2016, and 2016 is still my favorite, so I got to go through all these mazes to, to solidify whether this is going to be my favorite year or 2016 is still going to reign champ in my eyes. But um, I, this is going to be a solid year. And we, we, the, the last thing we're going to talk about, obviously, the Jabberwockies returning for a brand new show in the special effects sound stage should be another fun time. These guys get down when it comes to dancing. Um, uh, very talented dancers has been on America's got talent. They have their show in Vegas and now they're bringing another show back to Halloween Horror Nights for everyone to go check out. So definitely if you have the time, go check them out. If you've never seen the jab walkies before, I highly suggest it. Um, go definitely see what they have to offer. Cause those guys can move like nobody. I've never seen anyone move like that. So yeah, definitely. It's uh, I'm excited to see what kind of music they'll be using. I'm curious if they'll be doing music from the weekend as a part of their act, um, since obviously the weekend is coming yeah, to the event. That could work. Uh, yeah. So if they have like a few weekend songs in there, I definitely think that'll be cool. Um, and then you know, if we have time, we, we'll, we'll probably try our best to check it out. But obviously, uh, it's a, a packed night between nine mazes. I built or nine houses. Eight eight houses, eight, one terrace. Eight, eight houses, one terrace. Four, four stairs out. So it's going to be a long night, um, and so we'll maybe we'll catch it. No promises, but uh, it's definitely cool that they're bringing a new show, and hopefully they include some of the weekend to, to really yeah. tie the whole event together. Yeah, man. I mean, listen, tickets are on sale now. Get your freaking fear passes. Get your front of the lines. Get your VIP tours, RIP tours. You know, get 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 your tickets because I guarantee you, as we get closer to opening week, it's going to sell out. A hundred percent, I can promise you that because it has in the past. This is a stacked lineup. The weekend being, of course, our biggest draw in this year. You know, there's a ton of, he's got a huge fan base. So a lot of his fans are going to want to show up to, to see this. I'm excited to see what this maze is going to be about. You got Halloween, another huge fan base right there. You got, um, what else have we got? Scarecrow, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is becoming a huge draw in too. Um, and, and the horrors of Blumhouse, Black Phone, and Freaky, both the great Blumhouse movies as well. Uh, Universal Hotel, a horror hotel, um, La Llorona, and Universal Monsters Legends Collide. I mean, it's a stacked lineup this year. It is a freaking amazing lineup. You have four amazing scare zones, one brand new uh, show coming to Halloween Horror Nights with the Jabberwockies. Uh, it's going to be great. So. Definitely get your tickets now before it gets too late because you do not want to miss this year. Yeah, you can watch our POVs and whatnot, but I guarantee you it does not do justice until you see it with your own two eyes. Correct. I, 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 I echo the sentiments of Tony. It's, uh, there's nothing better than actually being there and being immersed into the, uh, the event. Like, it's great to watch POVs, but POV is probably 6 out of 10. Being there, 15 out of 10. Yep. Um, it's always a good time, um, and as Tony said, get those tickets before they sell out. Um, go ahead and drop a comment down below what announcement today was you were most excited for. If you liked that video, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified for it, go ahead that that bell notification um, because we got some great, great videos coming up um, as we inch closer to the uh, Halloween Horror Nights and Not Scary Farm and various other events. And, well, you know, we got other stuff coming down in the off season, so uh, stay tuned for some great, great content. Uh, but if nothing else, my name is Sam. I'm Anthony. And we hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace. S see you in the fog. In the light.